this is Audie Lake, located in northwest Wisconsin, near my hometown of Birchwood. Audie Lake is nestled in the Blue Hills and is one of the most beautiful lakes I have ever fished. We are at the landing inside the Audie Lake campground. There's plenty of parking and a large gravel lot. We are not professional fishermen, just people who love to fish. We're so glad you're here. Oh, and watch out for the Blue Hills Beast. My name's Randy, welcome to Go Midwest Fish. Stay in your lane today? Yeah. All right, it's important. We got big baits with big hooks on. Okay. Maybe add get some water down. Yeah. Throws us out of here. Is the audio like a flooded out lake? I don't know. It is a flowage, I think. So yeah. Go oh, straight. <laughs> Very good. See, piece of cake. You're worried about nothing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you gotta pay attention where you're going. You hit everything. It's getting a little windier out. It was nicer this morning. We got no internet out here to check the weather, so we have no idea if it's gonna rain or what's gonna happen. We are flying blind today. Dad. Yep. What? <laughs> probably like say about like how Reggie stole my fish because they probably would say that a lot. Yeah, how Reggie stole your fish? Can you tell everyone that? Well, how about we just show him the clip of him stealing your fish? All right, here it is. I got one. Did you? Oh. Oh, I have one. You got him again? He does have him. Oh, what the heck? Right oh, yeah, it is one. <laughs> Reggie stole them from you. <laughs> yeah, look at That's that. The one I have. That's the one you just had on a couple times. Hey, everyone. We are back here on Audie Lake up in northern Wisconsin. It was almost a year ago today that we were, we did the same lake, all three of us, but we were here in a canoe. We camped at the campground here. And uh, we're back because we're now camping at Murphy Floyd's, just on the road, fishing that lake. Ten minutes away. About ten minutes away, but Reggie came here last summer in July, or just yeah, just a few well, months ago, summer. and he hooked into a couple of monster northern, and we're like, all right, we got to give this lake another try, see if we can't catch one of those. So we're back here on a mission to catch one of ourselves a uh, big pike here, and Reed's here to redeem himself because Reggie stole his northern last time, so hopefully we'll get him one too. You know, can't do the trolling motor. <laughs> Oh jeez! There's one down there. Go get him. It's always when you're not paying attention. See how he, he as I was lifting it out of the water, he came after it. I kind of think there would be like unless you're in the beginning of July. Yeah. And this time of year they would both be wanting to eat a lot. You'd think. think they would just be a little more aggressive, but. Huh. But I don't know if they move around in this lake during times of the year. Or... I mean, like I said, there ain't where places for them to go. Just... Looks like it's pretty much just flat bottom here. Six feet flat bottom. I thought there's more weeds in here before. No, it was. The whole shoreline was weedy earlier in the summer. And they died off or anything. Seemed like anywhere I could find like that cabbage type of weed. That's where they are. Was where the fish were at. Ooh, just sure. missed. I seen it flash up. Out in the middle? Yeah, he followed it in. As soon as I slowed down and got by the boat, he took off. Oh, maybe they're out deeper. Well, yes. no, six feet. Oh, out <laughs> in the feet. middle, I should say. <laughs> oh, damn it. Another one followed Another it. 
They're in here then. You can't see them. They're really hard to... I've seen it right there at the end. He nipped it and turned. You got, uh, you got a spinner on? Orange blue fox? Yeah. Lots of stumps up ahead to get caught on. Huh? Got lots of stumps up ahead to have some... Oh, there's one right there. Yeah! Finally! Put your thing down so I don't get smacked. You want a net or... Um, you know, a hop? Come on. Ready? Come here. Yeah, this is about 20. Red spot. Like it has yeah. a red tail. Here's one. Yeah. A little better one? A little bit. He's wild. Look at him. He's wild. You gonna pull him in or? Uh, shut the motor off quick so you won't run into something. <laughs> Good idea. Can I hold him? Yeah. Measure him. So he makes about 20 inches. Alright, throw him in. I got one. Oh, yeah. Little guy. Oh, and this Christmas spinner. <laughs> got a red and green spinner bait on. Where's these big honkers you're catching in July? Huh? I don't know. Yeah. Eh, it's about the same. You got the little middle spot, and then there's another bay. Yeah, it kind of makes like a horseshoe almost, right? A little here, a little middle. And yeah, it kind of looks like a, if you were to look at it in the sky, it'd probably look like a backwards E. Yeah. There's one. <laughs> Got one? Ooh, it's a good one. Oh, that's a fish. I just threw it out there and trolled. <laughs> Got it right away. I might need a net on this one. Much just bigger. got grandpa some dinner. 21. He's almost. Still over 21. 21 and a quarter. Alright. Why don't you throw him in the live well? Yeah. I'll we'll cut him on the old green blue fox. Number four. Throwing right through the middle here. Oh, yeah. So if that's all it takes to catch him, well, all I gotta do is troll back and forth through here. <laughs> So you caught some by that beaver down up here? I caught some straight ahead along that shoreline and up by the beaver thing. I got one. Ooh, Reggie's got one. Were you just trolling? Yep. Oh, who's he looking? We'll keep him. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a fish. <laughs> Like, I couldn't tell, I kept bouncing and bouncing. Yeah, I was hitting weeds. Want me to net him? Yeah. Get in there right there. Put your hat on A floating piece of block. No. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, right there? Right there. <laughs> oh. I was looking at the blah. Yeah. <laughs> Some paint the blob. <laughs> the blob. Ooh, right there. Right at the boat. <laughs> ooh, it's a good one. Give me that. Oh, he's off. Oh, oh that was a big one. That was the biggest I one, too. Seen that. He's a pretty nice one. Roundness of it. <laughs> yeah, he was a fat one. Yeah. We're in a little 20 foot hole right here. And I want to show you. Look at this fish finder. 
They're just fish everywhere in here. Not sure what they are, so we just got a little grub on a jig head here. He's got overboard trying to see what. Late. <laughs> Second too late. <laughs> All right, so we pulled out of the landing at Audie Lake, and the sheriff came up to us and started talking to us. And then when he left, some other guy just pulled up, started talking to us. It's kind of strange, but anyway. What we found out from both of them is that Audie Lake used to be a really good lake, just packed with northerns and muskies, tons of crappies, and I guess they kind of fished it out a little bit and had some winter kills. So um, it's not as good as it used to be, but there's still some fish in there. We caught some uh, some northern, and Reggie earlier this summer had caught some pretty big ones too. Uh, if you want to see our video from last year, check out the video right here. Guys, right, so we'll see you later on the next lake. Watching in five, four, three, two, one. Oops, it is. Watching in five, four, three, two, one.